Once we've identified all this, we're ready to go to the next stage, which is developing market strategies. This is done by looking at the elements of the marketing mix. How is the business going to achieve objectives within the research of the market, identification of target customers and their attributes? Let's look at the diagram. You note that in the middle of the diagram we've got the target market. And that's what we've been doing all this work for. Um, the four P's determine the emphasis on the business will place on each one of those variables, namely the product, the price, the place and promotion. Let's go into more detail. Price. Selecting the right price is always difficult in light of competitive factors, level of demand for the product and the cost of production. And of course the product life cycle. The product, as well as the product itself, you need to consider the quality of the packaging, the design, model variations, brand name and warranties allowed. Promotion, that's what we see most commonly on TV. There are strategies to inform and remind customers about its products. This includes advertising, personal selling, sales promotions, publicity and public relations. And lastly, place. Where are you going to get this product from? It deals with the channels of distribution of getting the product to the consumer. Traditionally it has been from a manufacturer who sold it to a wholesaler, to a retailer and then to you the customer. Now we need to include online sales and distribution as well. Now we come to the last section, the marketing implementation and review process. The marketing plan needs to include a budget for implementation as well as for sales forecast and a cash budget. How does a budget need to be restructured and who will be responsible? How does the marketing how do the marketing strategies and messages are communicated to staff? Once the plan has been implemented, managers need to compare actual results with forecast results. If there's any big variances, they then need to be analysed and to, to, to see why. This forms part of any uh, normal review process that, will, that might recommend changes in the marketing mix or strategies in the future. So there you have it. This is a whole process of marketing planning that any business will go through. You can see all the bits and pieces that I've discussed with you today. Obviously you can go back and look at them in more detail. I hope this has been beneficial to you. Thank you for listening and now you have to look forward to lots and lots of activi activities that I will go give you from now on.